Hello guys! In this video, I will be showing you how to use this cool looking module board over here. And later, let's create a simple code that measures the distance between the object and the module. And then, let's upgrade into a semi-difficult code that lifts up an LED while the object is closing to the module and simultaneously rotates the servo motor along the way. Let's get started. The main component of this video will be this HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. At its core, it consists of two ultrasonic transducers, the one that acts as a transmitter which converts the electrical signal into 40 kHz ultrasonic sound pulses. Then a receiver listens for the transmitted pulses. If it receives them, it produces an output pulse whose width can be used to determine the distance the pulse traveled. Next, we need a microcontroller to control the transmitted data. I went for this Arduino Pro Micro for the easy connections in the breadboard. So, with the hardware out of the way, we can put the ultrasonic sensor in the breadboard, then connect the VCC to the VCC of the Arduino, ground to the ground of the Arduino, the trigger pin to the pin 9, and last, the echo pin into pin 10. After that, it's time for programming. In the Arduino IDE, you need to download the HCSR04 library in the Arduino, then install it. After that, go to the files, examples, then find the HCSR04 that you download earlier, then click the example sketch. Then before that, Always check your board and ports. Then click upload. After uploading, open your serial monitor and as you can see, it shows random values. But if I put my hands in front of the ultrasonic sensor, then look at the serial monitor, you can see that it detects the distance between my hands and the ultrasonic sensor in centimeter unit and this is how ultrasonic works. Okay, moving on. I want to print this data to be more convenient. So, I will be using this LCD display. So by connecting the VCC and the ground to the Arduino and connect the serial data pin to pin 2, the serial clock to the pin 3 and change the pin out of the ultrasonic sensor according to this diagram. So it is time to program again. I already created the code for these changes. First, I included the liquid crystal I squared C library for the LCD display. Then I included the new pin library for the ultrasonic sensor and define the echo and the trigger pin. Next, I define a maximum distance of 200 centimeters and set the new pin sonar for the distance later and initialize the duration and the distance. Okay, in void setup, I set the necessary begins for the LCD display. In void loop, I set the distance in centimeter value, then if the distance is greater than 200 centimeter or less than 2 centimeter, it prints no detected. Else, if the values are within the ranges, it prints the distance between the object and the module. Then I set a 300 milliseconds delay for the refresh of the code. Then I click upload. As you can see, it works just fine. Okay, moving on. 
let's remove the LCD display and instead use this 5mm LED and a 100 ohm resistor together with the servo motor. Then, after gathering these components, let's put it in the breadboard. All parts list, codes, schematics is always in the video description. And also, subscribe and hit the notification button for the more videos coming. After connecting the last module, which is the servo motor, and tidying up all the connections according to this schematic. Then, plug it again to your computer. Again, I already created the code for this also. I included the servo library and set the name of the servo to servo1. Then, I initialized the echo and trigger to their corresponding pins. And also, sets the duration and the distance and the initial position of the servo. In void setup, I attach the servo in analog pin 2 and set the trigger as output and echo as input and set the LED pins as output. In void loop, Kotobuki is the function for the ultrasonic sensor. Then, I initialize the servo's angle to 0 and set the LEDs as low and then, as the object closes, the LEDs and the servo follows and so on and so forth until it reached the maximum distance and the angle. Then, I set a delay of 150 milliseconds. Last, this is the function for the ultrasonic. The trigger is low for 2 microseconds. And high for 10 microseconds and pull slow again and then to be calculated in distance. After all that, click Upload. As you can see, the code works. And if I put the distance between me and the ultrasonic, the LEDs and the servo follows. I hope that you like this video. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you next time.